Okay, so here's our existing garden. We just got the homestead. And we have some asparagus plants and a couple of fruit trees we need to plant. And we need to get fencing up where we want the orchard to be. So we're going to have to uh, temporarily put them in this fenced garden area. And I think the asparagus will go over here on the north end of the garden. So it, when it gets tall, it won't shade any of the other plants. And we'll also put some... Uh, We'll put some rhubarb in there mixed in with the asparagus plants. So the previous owner, been here 30 years, or maybe even longer, and they did a pretty good job of taking care of these little raised beds and improved the soil. Over here there's a compost bin, and their water over here, and I'm going to get started planting. You can see here they have plastic over the beds and some spare fencing and stuff they had. So first things first, get all this cleared out. Looks like we got some grass on this end of the bed that I'm going to have to dig out. Down at the other end it looks pretty good. So here we go, more work. When you order bare root asparagus plants through a catalog, this is what you get. This is 10 asparagus plants. Just the roots have been cleaned the soil and washed off. And the crowns are up here. And that's what you'll be planting. Also, this is a jumbo rhubarb plant. It's basically just a rhubarb plant that's been sliced in several pieces. And they send you a chunk of the root. And that's what the rhubarb plant will grow from. A lot of times when you get them at other places, they're really super small. But this particular nursery has nice healthy ones. But you have to pay extra for that. Anyway, so I'm going to soak these in water while I'm getting the bed prepared for them. So that they'll be nice and hydrated when they go in the ground. This is our flowing artesian well. The water just comes it's under pressure in the aquifer underground, and it just comes right out. So, we're going to use this to get some water to soak our roots in while we prepare the bed. Just going to let that fill up until it's all the way over top of all the roots and then we'll take the bucket out from under the well. Grass is one of the most difficult weeds in the garden in my opinion. So to get this grass out what I'm actually going to do is dig down deep and pull the soil up so I get the grass roots and all. And then I'm going to take that ball of soil and I'll shake all the dirt off of it. Because if you leave those roots there in the ground, they'll just come right back up as more grass. Okay, so this end of the bed is complete. I got most of the roots out, but there's always some behind, so I'll have to come back and check on it. Now, asparagus is supposed to be planted, oh, at least 12 inches apart. A little more is better, and since this is a four foot wide bed, I'm gonna be able to put three rows in, and that'll leave me space on each side, and then a foot between or a little over a foot between. So what I'll do is just make a line down the middle and then split that in half, but favor the outside just a little. And same thing on this side.
and those are the rows where I'll plant my asparagus. Now each one's going to have to be dug up. I'll show you how to do that for each plant you have. Let me get a plant here. These are Jersey Night asparagus. So, well, there's a couple of roots I missed from that big old spruce tree on the south side. All right, so the way I like to do asparagus is you dig a nice deep hole. And then you put a cone of dirt in the middle of that hole. And then tear this package open here. The asparagus come all bundled together. So you just kind of gently shake them. And what you can see here, this is the growing tip. That's where your little shoots are gonna come out and then your roots are down below. Now what you wanna do is spread these roots out nice and gently and put them all around that cone of soil. Let's see if I can do that with one hand. Tuck them down. Now you want, like this is the soil level, and you want to be just a little bit below the soil level with your crowns. So once you have that, you can just put your soil back over the top, level it off. And then, Grab a water can here. And then you really want to soak it. So give it a good heavy soaking. And then you let that soak in and move on. You can actually do several plants and then soak them all in at once. I just wanted to get it all in one shot. So. There you go, that's how you plant asparagus.